we have had many years of cultural conditioning. Indoctrination. The myth that governments are needed, has kept us from our true potential. The system is broken. They are all broken. Because they were broken to begin with. There is a profound truth which many people isolate their minds from. The truth that all political philosophies advocate violence against mankind. Try creating a government without a monopoly of violence. You cannot without individual contractual agreements. When government is voluntary it ceases to be government. It becomes a business. And businesses compete to provide you services through willful agreements. If you had the option to give money for those programs and services you want, without the threat of violence, if you do not want to pay for certain other services, would you still be willing to give up all true control of how half of your money is spent? All services currently provided by governments can be provided better and at less cost by the market. The division of resources and labor are always more efficient when they're in response to market signals. As opposed to artificially created political diktats and inflationary spending. This is a matter of basic economics. Supply and demand. Basic economic principles are not hard to grasp without the broken window fallacies of Keynesianism, kissing the governments behind. If you do not want to advocate violence against me, or those of your friends and family who care about liberty, you should join those of us who have stopped believing in the fable of government. Most libertarians would advocate slowly chipping away at governments using the system to fight the system. This has failed miserably. Let us admit the system is mostly a waste of time. There are many different ways to achieve peaceful revolution that do not involve the system. Such as civil disobedience. Remember you are sovereign unto yourself. With or without the approval of those who pretend to have authority over you. The non-aggression principle is vital to understand. Involuntary community property is sacred. First and foremost there is self-ownership. Your body is the center of your property. This property extends outward to the fruits of your labor. Because others also own their bodies, we do not advocate or initiate violence against others, unless in dire defense of self, personal property or when willingly contracted to defend. It is true no philosophy is perfect. And no society is perfect. This is why it is so important to take responsibility for our deeds. And choose for ourselves how to live, and who and what to support. And to not hand over power to gangs of men, who would pretend to have authority over others without consent. Please do not pretend, that the USA government provides the most free nation, and therefore it is somehow greatly justified in what it does. This is a lie many people tell themselves, this is extreme cognitive dissonance. The US has the largest number of non-violent people locked in prison of any country in the world. With less than 5% of the world's population. But almost a quarter of the world's prisoners. The arguments used to justify the existence of the state are almost exactly the same arguments that they used to justify the institutionalized slavery of blacks. This is not a coincidence. No one has legitimate peaceful authority over others without the individuals as individuals freely entering into contracts. There are many thousands of types of licenses they lay out before you, so that you must ask their permission, just to live out your life. Under coercion and threat they tell you what to do. With your body. Your money. Your life. And if you. Your family. Refuse to pay for their licenses, evil ambitions and corrupt wars. They will tear your life apart. Governments attempt to disguise themselves. But the disguise has worn away. Governments are criminal organizations. We did not consent. We do not consent. I believe the most important step we can take as individuals is to wholly avoid initiation or advocation of force or fraud against others. This does not mean that you should not ever vote. But make no mistake. You are just one of many thousands begging on your knees to keep the freedom that was already yours to begin with. Perhaps most importantly, we need like-minded people to come together to win hearts and minds. Such as with the Free State Project. It may take generations, but eventually large-scale civil disobedience will come, born of principal bravery and peace. This will force government into remission. Because government will no longer be able to function. Thank you for your time. Feel free to spread this video.